anyway, going on to Ohio State, they did what they had to. What's interesting is now they have the second string quarterback in that throws for six touchdowns, an Ohio State record, but he obviously did against Florida A&M, another historically black college that's hating it. But uh, um, Ohio State is just, you know, it's it, when you can bring another quarterback in and produce that type of offense and, you know, and then snuff a team out, that they're, they're good on both sides of the ball, like you said last week, George. Um, yeah, they're they're a complete team. I it just it'll be int- and they just play a soft ass schedule. I mean, yeah. they're it just um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't make, know. Make, I, make, I mean, I'm just I'm not sold. Let's see who do they have left? Wisconsin at Northwestern. Um, Ohio State just doesn't have that. I don't see uh, Penn State at Purdue at Illinois. Indiana at Michigan. The yep. at Michigan game is going to be tough, but I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to destroy Michigan. I, Michigan is so god awful. They but, are so over overrated. And and dude, I'm telling you, what did I say last week? I said I think UConn can upset Michigan. It almost fucking happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it it almost happened. Everybody. I mean, Michigan are, went to UConn, who's been I think playing D1 ball now for maybe this might be their second or third season yep. as a D as recognized as a D1 school. Mm-hmm. So I'm tipping my hat to that coach in that school because to have Michigan come in and only lose by three points, that's yep. fucking pretty impressive. It's pretty. It's, it's, it, look, it looks good. So I think they're overrated. I think a lot of the big ten, the Big Ten is is kind of weak, and that's like last week when we were talking about Maryland. You said, "Hey, Maryland is coming over. To, they're going to get housed in the Big Ten. I'm like, I don't know. Because it's like I think next year the ACC might be tougher than the Big Ten, you know. And I tell you what, depending on who Maryland has coming back, and I don't know, they're going to be pretty. I mean, they are doing uh, the the knock on Maryland last year is you, they weren't putting away the teams they should be putting away. They right. they were playing down to their opponent's level. This year they're not. This, this year, year they're like, all right. This year they're showing the Big Ten what they're going to be getting. I just hope it continues into next year. I, yeah, they housed uh, West Virginia 37 to nothing. It's the first time that Maryland had beat West Virginia in seven years. And what I made, uh, I called George up and I said, what a lot of people didn't understand about the Terrapins is, uh, you know, Randy Etzel came. Everybody expected them to be contenders in the ACC. But last year, they had five quarterbacks. Their starter who's starting now got hurt in fall practice. Then they had, it came with another uh, quarterback that got hurt the first game. Four, game, four games later, the, the third string quarterback got hurt, blew his ACL. Then they had another guy come in, the fourth fourth quarterback for the season. He got hurt, and then they ended up with a fifth quarterback that was either like a defensive lineman or a receiver or something. And that's why they took all the losses at the end of the year. They literally went through five quarterbacks. So, I, I mean, now you can't. To ahead. what you just said, I would love to see one defensive lineman in the NC two A's play quarterback. I, I wonder if they could, I, you know. It could happen. I'm pretty there. sure. I think it was. I think it was like a linebacker or a corner. Yeah, it was somebody. I think it might have been a corner. And uh, I mean, they just they just couldn't put together anything. But now they look pretty good. Um, you know, uh, so for, so far. So you can't get high. They've got to wait till they get into the ACC schedule, which happens uh, in two weeks, and that's when they play Florida State. Now, if they can beat Florida State, who right now is sitting at eighth in the country. Then now, all of a oh sudden, wow, that'll 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 catapult them up the ranks. That'll catapult them up the ranks. Um, but that still, you know, remains to be seen.